It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on George Goober Lindsay was the first choice to play Spock on Star Trek. Could you see Goober in space? Let's check it out. Mayberry and the Starship Enterprise have connections. Though the Andy Griffith show and Star Trek were light years apart in concept, the iconic 60s television series sometimes shared a production location, 40 acre studio lot. This is why you can spot Walker's Drug Store and Floyd's Barber Shop in the Star Trek episodes Miri and City on the Edge of, of on the Edge of I'm sorry on the Edge of Forever. Uh, but there is a bigger what if. What could have bridged the two shows to an even greater degree? And I'm still having a hard time with this. In a broadcast celebration of Star Trek's 40th anniversary back in 2006, Leonard Nimoy mentioned in an interview that George Lindsay had been Gene Roddenberry's first choice to portray Spock. Yes, that's be Goober. Goober Powell was picked to be Spock. Spock did go through a significant evolution on the development process as the Vulcan had everything from red skin and a British accent to a tail in the early stages. Uh, in casting, a handful of actors were reportedly considered for the part, including Martin Landau, Rex Holman, and Michael Dunn. The latter two would later uh, play small parts on Star Trek. Those performers would have uh, would have certainly been a different flavor of Spock, but George Lindsay, Goober, Gomer's cousin? Well, that's a whole different story. Uh, while some question the val val validity, <laughs> I'm having a rough time today, of Nimoy's claim, another 60s star confirmed this curious piece of TV history a couple years later. Ernest Borgnine of McHale's Navy published a memoir titled Ernie in 2008, late in the book, he took time to gush about his friendship with George Lindsay. Oddly enough, they met at a gas station, and Borgnine was going through a rough patch in his marriage and took the car out for a spin to clear his head. He stopped for a lube job and oil change and bumped into Lindsay while getting a cup of coffee. Two actors started chatting, went for a spin in Lindsay's car, played some golf, and opened up about their relationships. They became quick friends. So about the Spock thing, Borgnine went on to write, To this day, I think George Lindsay is one of the great guys in the world. I can't say too much about that old boy and how he used to keep me in stitches talking about his home in Alabama, how he gave up being a science teacher to act, and how, by hand of God, he turned down the part of Mr. Spock on TV Star Trek. There you have it. Because of this brilliance as country bumpkins on the Andy Griffith Show and Hee Haw might not seem like a Federation science officer, but Lindsay did actually teach science. And if the Enterprise ever needed a carburetor change, well, Goober was the man. And I know I've done a video on this a long time ago. I kind of wanted to update it um, for those who had not seen it and did not know this. Um, that's all I got for you today. Uh, do me a favor. Run over and check out the classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia. You see the information right here? Uh, the link is in the description below. Go click on it. Take you right to it. Please subscribe. Um... Today's video is on Bewitched, by the way. And uh, don't forget Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. I ain't going to tell you what's on that. Have a great day. God bless, and I'll be praying for you.